Hello and welcome. Today, a non-mathematical video. Uh, we are returning to my office. Oh, well, not quite. I mean, my office is on the left here. You can see some of my lights that I use when I'm uh, recording videos. Uh, we are going to come to the, to the main room. And as you can see, I laid out my pool table. Um, it's just I had nowhere to put these uh, textbooks. And the uh, often being asked which are my favorite textbooks and uh, and perhaps a little why. Of course, uh, I have a massive library with in excess on the last count of 2,000 uh, textbooks of uh, mathematics, physics, and uh, astrophysics slash astronomy. And uh, if I had to save uh, in an unlikely event of a disaster, uh, only a handful of textbooks, um, which ones will I try to save? Okay, so let's start with this. So the first um, set of textbooks is two of them. Let's uncover them and see what they are. Is there Stroud Engineering Mathematics and Further Engineering Mathematics? Amazing textbooks for, um, for self-teaching. I used them several times when I was teaching myself maths. Um, and this particular editions are my favorite. I have, I think, about seven editions. Um, and uh, between them. So these are my favorite, the fourth edition for engineering and the third edition for the further engineering mathematics uh, because um, engineering is an evolving science and some topics that used to be popular perhaps in the, let's say in the 90s are no longer popular because of uh, the, the computer input basically in engineering courses, okay? I highly recommend this particular textbook. Uh, they're very, very well written. Um, they have a lot of questions. They're, they're, they're suitable for self-teaching. This is what they are really. Okay, so let's go into number two. So let's see what's underneath that. I can see what's underneath that. This is now um, for a class of textbooks, which is what I call the good, colorful, calculus American uh, books. There's tons of them in the market. I mean, the most popular is the Stewart uh, series, but my favorite is not the Stewart textbook, is the Salas and Hills calculus. Uh, and uh, I think I have the seventh edition here. Um, it's uh, one of these hardbacks. So they all practically look the same. But this particular one, it's, uh, it has a few extra topics. It has very good graphics and is my favorite. So if I had to save one of these particular calculus textbooks, definitely it's going to be this one. Okay, so this is now Salas and Hills Calculus. And the third textbook, seventh edition, it says in there, uh, that's the only edition that I have, and uh, I don't know what other editions will be like, but this is the Howard Anton Elementary Linear Algebra. I use this textbook, uh, textbook this particular one, to self-teach myself a lot of the linear algebra, diagonalization, and things like that. Uh, and a lot of other stuff. Um, uh, even before I went to, to university, so it's, a, it's a good textbook. It has a lot of questions and some sensible explanations. Okay, so let's uh, move uh, to the next uh, textbook. I have no idea what lies underneath this one now. Uh, is it one textbook or is it two? It's uh, one textbook. Okay, no idea. Let's have a look. Okay, solve problems in analysis. Um, as applied to gamma, beta, legenda, and bezel functions. Now, this is got, I mean, you look at the title analysis, you might be thinking pure mathematics. It's nothing of the sort. It's a textbook with loads of questions, um, applied questions, essentially, uh, for this particular special function. So if your interest is, uh, as the, the title says in red, um, beta gamma and a few other special functions. This is the book to have. It has a lot of uh, questions, uh, uh, solved questions, uh, essentially. So it does uh, give an insight to, to a lot of these uh, uh, functions, which is very, very difficult to get textbooks for. So this is, again, one of my favorites. A lot of the questions in my, <coughs> pardon me for my coughing, uh, at the moment, okay. Uh, a lot of the questions that I have in my advanced textbooks on this particular topic have come from this particular textbook. Okay, uh, let's go to the next one. I uh, have no idea. It's only one textbook underneath this particular one. Let's uncover it and see what it is. 
Okay, this is now something something else. Integral calculus. Uh, the author is uh, H. S. Dami, some kind of Indian guy. Um, this is now a book on integration. Is integration and more integration and more integration like you never seen it before. Um, it's uh, um, some amazing techniques, some um, beautiful integrals and some techniques that you will never see in sort of like in the in the Western style textbooks. The Indians um, have amazing textbooks in English at the fraction of a price. I mean, this particular one is probably, I think, the only book that I have bought new. And I think it costed me less than five pounds, including the postage and packaging. If you ever go to India, what I, well, I haven't been to India, but if I was to go to India, I will definitely uh, take myself, I don't know, an extra 100, 200 pounds, and I'll go to the nearest bookshop and just load it with some of the, the books. I have about four or five uh, textbooks um, which are similar in style. Another one partial differential equations and another one is on uh, ordinary differential equations and if it, one on tensors and a few other topics and you cannot believe how beautifully written they are, how many examples they have and it's, it's, they're just amazing, really. And at a fraction of a price, of course, that's the, the another another uh, good thing in, in all of this. Okay, the next two, I know what they are. The two textbooks underneath, and I saw the side of it. I wish I could put the whole series of these textbooks. They're not for everybody, but for me, I think these books, the Sham Outline series are absolutely amazing. I had difficulty picking a couple of titles um, and the two that I picked are both written by a legend, Murray Spiegel. I have picked the advanced mathematics for engineers and scientists and the complex variables, but obviously by the same author in the same series. I have probably about 20 books uh, on mathematics. These books are very dark. They're not colorful at all, but they have absolutely an, an, a huge number of examples okay so if you want to i wouldn't say self-teach necessarily you need to know the basics but once you know your basics it has that you will find so many questions here it's beyond belief this is the the, the books to have uh, if you look for something colorful this is definitely not uh, the kind of thing that look a little bit dreary when when you first um, open them up okay where do we gonna go next okay let's uh, go around the table and go to the other end and let's see what's uh, uh, on this end. Um, I have no idea. Uh, so this is a single textbook. Okay. Oh my God. Le Higher algebra by whole and night. Okay. Um, I have two copies of this textbook. This is, I think, an 1882 edition. And I think I have one which is a lot more recent. Um, this is basically all about algebraic techniques. And when you say think about algebra, don't think obviously linear algebra or anything like that. It's just basically what you would expect to kind of like have uh, in, in, a, in a textbook, an, an A-level text, something between an A-level textbook and a university uh, difficulty, university level difficulty. For example, here you go binomial theorem, you go equation solving, you go repeated fractions. All sorts of beautiful things. Um, this is a very old uh, textbook. Uh, so I have to put it there. It's a legendary textbook. Um, I got one copy from a school. And uh, I think for this particular one, which is in pretty good uh, shape, is uh, actually bought this one. Okay. I want to say something about buying textbooks. I don't think um, I have paid for any of my books more than five uh, or seven pounds, perhaps. Um, the, they were bought um, from a second-hand uh, website that used to exist uh, a, a while back. It, it's not there anymore, and it's, uh, what replaced it is not as good as, uh, uh, as that one. It used to be the Waterstones uh, Marketplace, which I think is ceased trading to around 2015, and now you have the Olibris uh, uh, 
Um, I'm sure it's spelled something along, sorry, not spelled, but pronounced along those lines. But the prices are not that as great as they used to be. And also um, the searching is absolutely dreadful. You cannot really find books. This, these sites are good for finding books which are out of print. And now we're coming to a set of four books. Again, old books, as you can see, they're kind of like the old leather bound uh, look. For two of them, I, I, don't, I, I have the actual sleeve. For the other two, I don't have the, the original sleeve. And this is Analytical Calculus by Maxwell, Volume uh, 1, Volume 2, that I have obviously the, the sleeve, Volume 3 and Volume 4. Amazing textbooks, uh, but a very good author. Um, let's say, well, let's say, for example, what kind of topics uh, uh, does uh, number 4 cover? So this is Analytical Calculus, Volume 4. Um, we have differential equations, uh, linear differential equations, and uh, more differential equations, and more differential equations, and we've got uh, defining functions as uh, integrals, and uh, definition of fact by series, and more series, and uh, it's kind of like advanced topics that don't really, we don't really being taught this uh, items now at uh, um, normal a level it goes into Fourier series into Laplace transforms as you can see and spherical harmonics etc etc because it goes of course later into the Laplace uh, equation that, that is a partial differential equation anyway these are very very beautiful books and uh, those four uh, from this particular author are my favorite I have other books by him as well so here now we have a very very long uh, list and uh, it's six textbooks. I know which, uh, which ones are these ones because um, I, 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 it took me ages to collect all six books in the series and uh, I laid them out before um, this video. So these are, let me un just uncover them. It's a course of mathematics for engineers and scientists and this is by Turgwin and Plumpton. So this is more applied mathematics, fluids and everything else. So this is volume uh, one, two, this is the three, which I don't have the, the sleeve, four, five and six. Um, five, sorry, number six is, uh, is not, uh, uh, is a paperback. <coughs> Some of them took me ages to, to find, I can't remember which one was the most difficult now to, to, to actually find. I mean, there were, I was looking at price on the internet at the time uh, of well over a hundred pounds for a second hand uh, uh, copy um, from the States. And at the end, I think I managed to uh, uh, get one. I can't remember from where, from the UK for uh, something like seven pounds. So I'm very, very happy that I have this particular series of textbooks. They're, very very good for applied mathematicians and uh, for kind of like engineers really because they cover a lot of topics in the context of engineering quite specialized stuff and uh, we got one pile left and I can see what it is maybe you got a glance this is now where it all started for me um, in uh, a level I'm, I'm self-taught I, I, I didn't do a levels in a school or anything like that and this is the standard textbooks that I did use to teach myself mathematics. That was uh, around at the time that uh, um, I was learning maths. They were just the, the textbooks to have uh, by Bostock and Chandler, uh, both female authors. So let me just put them in order, first of all, here. It's a little bit confusing. That was the further and if we had the applied, the orange and the further applied. Um, so we had uh, Linda Bostock and Susan Chandler. Uh, <coughs> pardon me again. This was the, the pure mathematics. The, that was the straight math, the blue book. And the brown one was the, the further maths. And then for the applied maths, that's what uh, mechanics used to be called in those days. It was, uh, uh, of course, the, the orange book was the standard and the, the extension was the, the, the green textbook. Um, very, very heavy duty. I mean, some of the questions that uh, um, the, these books have are, are still mind-boggling and uh, beautifully disgusting and they're still 
uh, I mean, if I'm tired or I haven't looked at the topic for a long time, they, they, they will have me on my knees. So I, I promise you, these are no ordinary A-level textbooks, okay? Uh, they were written in the late 70s and a lot of copies of this are still around um, if you can get them for a fair price. Um, okay, so I think this is now all of them, all the books that has, uh, I, uh, I treasure um, uh, talked about. Some of them, as I said, particularly the Bostock and Sandler series here, have sentimental value. Um, uh, others are just uh, books that uh, are, are good for, for teaching or referring into uh, for, for certain topics. Uh, but these days, uh, I have to say, uh, books are not what they used to be uh, because, of course, of the internet. At the quick uh, search, uh, uh, you, uh, you can actually find absolutely everything online. So, uh, back in the day that I, I was collecting these textbooks, um, if you had to 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 find a, an obscure topic, you had to look it up in one of these. Uh, uh, textbooks and uh, look for something similar look for an exercise or a technique that was uh, appropriate and that's how you used to solve problems anyway that's uh, video is getting long enough uh, i hope you got an insight i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i'll be seeing you very very soon bye for now